written on a horse. He's got two empty coconuts and he's banging them together. Hey there and welcome to this episode of DIY Video Guy TV. In it, I'm gonna be sharing five pieces of video equipment and gear that are inexpensive, but you wanna make sure you have on hand. Number one is a tripod and monopod adapter from Manfrotto. I make sure that I have one for each of my cameras and then a couple extra because all of my tripods, all of my monopods, my sliders, they all have mounts that all fit the same base plate. So when I'm in a hurry, I can loosen it up, pull it off. Let's say this is a monopod or a slider. I can then just go ahead and slide it back on, lock it up, and now it's ready to go. This is really handy because I can have different cameras in different places, and then if I need to switch them quickly, I don't waste any time unscrewing or like fiddling or... None of that. None of that. Cut that out. Knock it off. You. There. With the... Next up at number two is have good protection for your camera and video equipment when you're traveling. So I have a plethora of different bags that I've tried in the past. The first thing I started with was a backpack. This is a Tamrac Expedition or something like that. Had a rain cover, which was nice when I was in Italy. And there's two laptop sleeve rooms here. Um, and the biggest, coolest thing is the customizable padding for the different cameras and microphones and SD cards and all that stuff. So you wanna make sure to get something like this. An upgrade from a backpack is to go to a roller bag. This is a Think Tank. Uh, photo bag. It also has the laptop thing in the front. If I open this up, you can see way more space. I can fit, you know, two or three cameras in here, lenses, audio recorders, microphones, everything like that. And this one has a security lock as well, so I can lock up the zippers. TSA can get in there if they need to, but I never actually check this bag. I just carry on with it. I also have a very specific bag for all my stands and things like that. You know, the backpack was a little over $100, $200. This roller bag was a couple hundred dollars, I think, two or 300. My roller bag for my stands over there, which is full of stands, so I'm not gonna lift it up right now. That was, I think, two or $300. And I'll list all this in the show notes of this episode at diyvideoguy.com slash TV8. But, you know, I'm investing almost $1,000 in three or four bags to make sure that my equipment is safe and padded when I travel with it. So, I mean, if you're gonna spend a few thousand dollars on equipment, spend a few hundred dollars and get a nice bag to protect it all. Number three is gaffer tape. This stuff is used to tape down cords. I have it throughout my studio here, taping cords to walls or marking the floor where I need to stand or where the tripods and light stands go. This thing is very, very helpful. I've even seen people tape small LED lights to a wall or I've seen people tape GoPros in places that they couldn't put a stand or anything like that. This is just really strong tape. It doesn't leave a residue. It's not that cheap, but it's relatively inexpensive. Gaffer tape, get some, you won't be disappointed. Number four, extra memory cards. You do not want to run out of space while you're shooting videos out and about. Yes, it's expensive to buy new memory cards and to just not use them, but have a lot. You can see I have this one that's gone. This is in my camera right now. This one, no, this one is in my audio recorder. And I have these labeled with different letters so that when I'm offloading them, I can do it in order and move them to the side. And you just wanna make sure you have enough. I have another case that has even more of these in them and you never want to run out of memory cards. There's only been one time where I've been close to running out and that was shooting for almost two days straight, like four or five hours each day, filling cards, filling cards, almost had to go buy more, but I didn't have to. So buy extra memory cards, they're anywhere from 20 to $50, depending on how fast you need them or how big you need them. Just buy more, have extras. You do not wanna run out and have to think about what videos you wanna delete or have to be sitting there waiting for you to offload all these videos onto your laptop and back them up again. And then you can format the card. You just don't wanna have to do that. So, more of these, get a cool case for them, be a boss. Number five, extra batteries. You do not want to be out of battery when you're out on a shoot or shooting at home and you then have to sit and wait for your battery to charge, especially if you're doing live events or anything like that. That's probably the worst thing that can happen because you're going to miss 
something, something that cannot be recreated. So get extra batteries. These ones go for my Canon C100. I only have one extra right now. Gonna have to buy another one. They're about $150. Canon, you know, DSLRs, extra batteries, extra chargers, uh, extra battery, another extra battery, extra battery. Like just have a bunch of them. You're going to need them. Buy extras. Try not to buy off-brand. The name brand ones are expensive, but it's worth it. Just buy the name brand ones. Extra chargers, extra batteries, you're gonna want them. In summary, that's extra monopod and tripod adapters that are all the same. I use them for Manfrotto. Carrying bags, backpacks, roller bags, stand bags, whatever you need to transport your video equipment. Gaffer tape, lots of it. Tape stuff down. You don't want people tripping over your stuff making your tripod fall over, making your lights fall over. You don't want that. Extra memory cards, make sure they're fast enough, big enough sizes, better to have more than not enough. And batteries, have extra chargers, extra batteries that are fully charged and be prepared to shoot longer than you think you're going to need to. So if you enjoyed this video on these little accessories and little extra things that you need gear wise, you can check out my free video email course called gear for any budget. I'll walk through which equipment I would recommend for whatever budget you're on, whether you're bootstrapping it and maybe you only have $100, all the way up to what I would spend at 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. It's a seven email course and it's all delivered via video where I show you the different pieces of equipment and stuff like that. If you wanna check that out, just go to diyvideoguide.com slash gear and you can sign up for that email course right there. So that wraps up this episode of DIY Video Guy TV. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, if you're gonna do it, might as well do it on video.